top Western officials criticized former President Donald Trump on Sunday after he suggested the U.S. might not protect NATO allies from a potential Russian invasion if those countries hadn't spent enough on defense. Trump's comments came during a weekend rally in South Carolina in which he appeared to recount a meeting with NATO leaders. The former president and likely 2024 Republican nominee claimed that the president of a, quote, big country, whom he did not name, once asked him about potential U.S. protection from Russia if that nation fell short on its defense spending. Trump said he told the NATO leader that the U.S. in that case would offer no protection and went as far as to say he would even encourage Russia to, quote, do whatever the hell they want. NATO's 31 members have agreed on a target of defense spending that is at least 2 percent of each country's gross domestic product. Estimates have shown that only 11 member nations are spending that much. In a written statement on Sunday, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg responded to Trump's comments by saying, quote, any suggestion that allies will not defend each other undermines all of our security, including that of the U.S., and puts American and European soldiers at increased risk. Poland's defense minister also weighed in, posting on social media, quote, NATO's motto, one for all, all for one, is a concrete commitment, adding that, quote, no election campaign is an excuse for playing with the security of the alliance. EU Internal Market Commissioner Thierry Breton, in a televised interview in France, said Trump may have, quote, issues with his memory. Breton recalling that Trump actually had his conversation with European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen and not a male president of a NATO country, as Trump had relayed. Meanwhile, the White House had its own response, with spokesperson Andrew Bates calling Trump's comments, quote, appalling and unhinged. Let me be sarcastic. <laughs> Let me be sarcastic. During this campaign, we will see and listen to many things. Let's be serious. NATO cannot be a, a la carte military alliance. Cannot be a military alliance that works depending on the humor of the president of the US on those days. It's not Yes, now, yes, tomorrow, no, it depends, who are you? Now, come on, let's be serious. Let's be serious. NATO cannot be an alliance à la carte. It exists or it not exist. But I'm not going to spend my time comment any silly idea that comes during this electoral campaign in the U.S. The Secretary General Stoltenberg, well, I don't know if he is anymore, but he was my biggest fan. He said, all these presidents came in, they'd make a speech, they'd leave, and that was it. And they all owed money, and they wouldn't pay it. I came in, I made a speech, and I said, you got to pay up. They asked me that question. One of the presidents of a big country stood up and said, well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, you didn't pay, you're delinquent. He said, yes, let's say that happened. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. You got to pay your bills. And the money came flowing in. 